You know why chickens are so funny? Why? Because! Hey, welcome back to our Super Directions. I'm Corbin. I'm a chicken. And he calls Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks so much for following Twitter account. Subscribe if you have a like button. <gasps> I see you're having a breakfast of champions. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pop tarts. I hadn't eaten anything like five minutes before this, and I was like, oh shit. Because <laughs> you get hungry. We exert a lot of energy. It's we all the do. juicy content that we exert. It is. It's all the juiciness that we exert. You need to replace the juice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with Pop tarts. Yep. <laughs> what kind, by the way? I saw there's a little. Was it strawberry? No, it's the um, berry blast. Oh. With it's the, like the old school. Multi sprinkle top. Uh, I don't know if there's any sprinkles oh, on so it. So you should be crashing about halfway through our filming. No. No? <clears throat> you don't get a sugar high and then a sugar crash? No. No? ADHD doesn't work that way. That's not what this is oh, about. Oh, that's one of the benefits. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, Who you knew? Know, well, you know, Adderall is basically like just pure caffeine. I did not know that. Which really? is why if like somebody like you would take it, it's like speed. Got it. And somebody like me, it's an incredible downer, but it helps you focus. Wow. And that's why coffee is also a partial substitute that you can have for AD, ADHD. That helps. Yeah. So it works in the opposite way. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's crazy, right? I didn't know that. <laughs> Anyways, that's what this is about. No. Uh, welcome back to class Hi. at night, you little shithead. Yeah, what's what? the matter with you? I'm sorry. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> Sorry, this you, is Bengali film. <laughs> Shitholds. <laughs> It's one of my favorite jokes. Yeah. Uh, anyways, but we're doing a Bengali uh, classic. Yep. Movie review. <laughs> so you didn't you do your thing. There you go. Thank uh, you. The 1957 Bengalo film, Kabuliwala. Close enough for hands. Means like hands on it. It's fruit seller or something. I think so. Fruit seller. Yeah. If my wife was here, she'd tell us. Um, but uh, we wanted to get to obviously some Bengali classics, but also some non Sachidit non Rai. Non Rai. Even though we love Sachidit Rai and we'll still watch there, it, all we, his stuff. Surprise to us, there's other filmmakers wow. from Bengal other than him. Who knew? I thought Not he was me. the only one. He is. He is the. Yeah, he is the Bengali industry. That's true. Uh, Even still, I mean, he might be actually. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, we wanted to get to some that weren't uh, such it Rai, and uh, some Bengalis uh, recommended a few, and I gave it a list, and then I asked Bengal uh, Indrani as well. I was like, "Do you know any of these?" And she was just like, "Oh yeah, I know quite a few of those." She knew this one really uh, well. Yeah, she knew this one as well. Um, so I was like, "Oh, let's do this one." It was really short for a classic Indian film. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so this will be a hundred percent. Spoiler review, if you haven't watched it, it's on YouTube, even. With uh, subs. And other places as well. I'm sure you can get it at different places in India as well. But yeah, there's there's actually in on YouTube, which is crazy. There's actually a lot of Indian films that are fully Just on YouTube. Just fully loaded there. Which I find absolutely crazy. I do too. Um, but, so let's be 100 cents. Spoiler if you haven't watched it, please go watch it and come back. Rick, your yeah. initial thoughts of the classic Kabuliwala. It looks and feels much older than 1957. It does. It feels like it's in the era of Chaplin and the Little Rascals. It looks like it was made right as the advent of sound came into play. It which does, yeah. I'm also very grateful that it seems that virtually every classic we've ever seen from uh, the Bengali film industry is sync sound. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Um, so I... Obviously, a personal connection. I was watching this with my Bengali wife, who she was singing some of the childhood songs, and she realized that one of the lines in the film, she, we were watching it, and she said, so that's where my dad and my uncle got that from. I never realized it was from this movie. I said, what? She said, they used to always say there was an elephant in the bag. Oh, They used to always joke about the fact that if she asked what was in the bag, they would say there's an elephant in the bag. And she didn't know the reference until we rewatched it. Yeah, and it was I from this movie. Quite a few references but, of... I really oh. liked it. I actually, <laughs> it's already been cold and rainy and winter, which is my least favorite time of the year. My favorite. And this movie's story didn't help me, <laughs> which just shows you that I cared about the guy. Yeah. So I, I, I really liked it. But man, I'm sure you love the ending. I hate, I just hated the ending and I'm so sad when this thing was over. I still don't like it. But that's a good, that's a good, that's a good sign. It means no, I yeah, like the movie. I, I enjoyed the ending. Yeah, I knew, Court, that's what, Indrani said, I sat there like this. I was like, she said, what? I, said, I don't like it. She said, Corbin's going to love it. Yeah. I said, yeah, I know he is. <laughs> thank because, you. Thank you for not telling me what's going to happen. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. 
I would like. He to- has to leave his daughter. Yeah. And be away from her. Then he has to deal with mean ladies as he's trying to connect with the little girl that reminds him of his daughter. And he's just a sweet guy. He ends up in prison. The girl he connected with forgets him. And then the daughter he's hoping to go back and see. I promise you. I promise you. She's dead. Oh, yeah. That's what I was hoping. Oh. I was actually hoping that he'd get there and it's just she's dead. And oh, it's, he, just, it's he's, inevitable. He's sad. His only ray of hope is that journey back home. I'm going to see my little girl again. No, no, no. She's long gone. No one remembers you. Your life's over. Goodbye. <laughs> Corbin's kind of film. Aren't you usually kind of the optimist though? That you're like, ah, she was there. She was sick when he she when she was six years old, she was sick. He got a letter that she was sick. (laughs) He was going home to be with her, rushing to get home because she might die. I promise you she's dead. I know. I loved it. Oh. Uh, anyways, yeah, I know. I, I really enjoyed this film. I loved uh, his character. His yeah. character was so... Ch- uh, you could easily loved him. easily root for him. There was a lot of deep messaging in this film about certain things that are universal and still relevant today of yeah. like how people treat immigrants mm-hmm. and, and what they think about them and the bad things they think just because they are immigrants yeah. sometimes. And, and it's just still extremely relevant today. People just for the longest time, have not liked foreigners coming into their country, and they always suspect yep. them of being the bad people. Or, yes. and, and so there was that element. There was you know, also the element of, wow, times have changed, huh? Uh, <laughs> can I come and hang out with your daughter? Nope. No, you cannot. <laughs> Please go away and stop talking to my daughter and taking her away from the park, you creep. <laughs> Very different times, I realize that. Yeah. It just makes you realize how... Like, if somebody, uh, uh, even if it was uh, a nice person, a, a neighbor even, right that, right, that you trusted, and they came and took your daughter to spend time with her at the park, away from the person that was watching, yeah, you, you would, would still... literally beat the living shit out of them. Yeah, you'd still wonder, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and Ronnie said those very words. She said, boy, it was a different time, wasn't different it? Time. I said, yeah. Even when I was a kid, different time. it was a different time where you could go, for example, your, your kid... I, we were con- when I was ten years old. On a, it was normal on a Saturday morning to eat breakfast and go out, and be gone till lunch, and then eat lunch, and then be gone. And the rule was just be back before before dark. My mom had no idea where I was from noon to seven p.m. No clue before cell phones, before anything. Her ten year old is in Van Nuys, just with his friends doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Such a different time. Yep. Uh, yeah. So you, you, there was a lot of moments in this, like him calling this little girl baby, and like all this stuff. I'm like, obviously, that's not the intent of not this. Not at all. And For it, me, it was very it endearing. Was, no, it was. That was the intention. It was endearing, but you realize since it's now 2023, I was like, if this was made now, that'd be really creepy. What yeah, he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what he's doing? You could make it now and work, but you'd have to change a lot, a lot of the story. A lot. But yeah, his character. And uh, sorry, I didn't introduce everything here. Yeah. It's directed by. Tapan Sinha, if we're pronouncing uh, that correctly. He also wrote the screenplay, but I right, believe it's from it was a story, a t- the original, Tagore story. Yeah, uh, composer is Ravi, Ravi Shankar. Shankar. Uh, it, and it reminded me of of the Opu when it started. I thought that's got to be Ravi Shankar. Um, and then the, our our main guy is um, Chabi Biswas. Ch- Chabi Jifat, yeah, who is a. Uh, Bengali screen legend. Yeah, so let's talk about him. Obviously, because he's the he's the film, right? Yeah. Um, and and his whole character, his character was so extremely sweet, and you just easily rooted for him immediately. And he, such expressive eyes. Yeah, he's he's just the nicest guy. <laughs> he he wants to help people. He misses his daughter. That who can't relate to that. Obviously, yeah. especially if you have kids. Exactly. Um, and uh, even though like. <laughs> The time difference, you're like, oh, he's just, he sees this little girl in this girl and he wants to be able to spend time with her and, and, and talk to her and have hope that she's still alive. And and everybody, no matter how mean to him, unless you call him a thief, then he's going to stab you. <laughs> but everybody else, his response to them is, God bless you. Even, even when she forgets him, <sighs> she leaves and the parents t- say, you know, get out of here, bud. His response is, God bless you. Mm-hmm. I just my my heart broke for the guy. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things like uh, how many times just like the store the the <laughs> it's you also notice how mean in old films old Indian films how mean like people are to their help. Oh my stars! <laughs> there was a point where the where the mom it was a third or fourth time where the mom was saying what she was saying. And I said, 
Well, she's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it's like throughout a lot of old Indian cinema. Oh, they're yeah. just like, like obviously, I guess that it was just the culture and whatever. It is. But it's like, God, you're so mean to this poor person who's literally you're employed to help. They're employed to help you. Yeah. Why are you so mean? It, it, it's the same thing for so long and even probably still. Just the standard format for teaching was to be mean to the kids. Yeah. It's just, it's a cultural thing of the times. Yeah. yeah. But, um, especially when you consider caste system and the fact that most help is going to be, I mean, you're going to, you're going to talk to them as an upper caste or talk yeah. to a lower caste. But yeah, the, the universal thing of obviously the, the thing that stuck with me with this is how, how, um, foreigners or, uh, immigrants, in any country, really, are treated usually because they're different. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're not your people, no. and and so they're presumed a lot of times to be thieves and, sure. and criminals and all this kind of stuff. Obviously, the 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 help uh, like immediately accused him of being like this other person who took well, your child well, and sold him into and and being and, and you know there was no evidence of that yeah Androni pointed out to me it wasn't just the fact that he was afghani which was in and of itself enough to be everything that you're talking about but the fact that he was an afghani uh, fruit seller made him from the people's perspective in calcutta he would be comparable to a gypsy, just this kind of coming and going. You don't know if what their intentions are. So there's already mm. this ingrained sense of skepticism toward the guy, mm. which makes the dad all the more gracious in his acceptance of him and recognizing this one dad's heart to another dad's heart. But yeah. that's that's where the, the fact that he's this big man who's not Indian and also has this gypsy kind of thing, even though he's morally a, a very, very sound guy, there's all of that initial skepticism of we're going to judge the book by its cover. And it, I, I just... Yeah, because that's such a universal thing now that happens, obviously, in any country, but obviously here in America, obviously, if there's somebody from the Middle East or if there's somebody uh, from Mexico or South America or something. Now, obviously, we're in L.A., very accepting here but if you're like in a certain part of the the country it's more prevalent where oh, yeah there's certain, like go back to where you came from kind of certain parts of the country that if a guy walked in with one earring in his left ear he'd be looked yeah. at like he's you know hey what are you, what are you doing so here? it's just a universal thing that unfortunately in 2023 we're still dealing with which is just so sad but i thought his performance was really great i, I did too I, I, he was totally endearing totally believable yep to uh, totally like i you loved the character and you were rooting for him rooting even for though him. i was like i bet his daughter's dead in the end i wanted them to not be dead but i just assumed she was uh, which anyway. is as much as i dislike it it is uh, that's that's one of the great things about the film is that it's honest mm -hmm. about the realities of life that life is often not fair that life is not fair and but but even in the midst of unfairness there's people that you always there's always still hope there's always still belief there's always still dream i don't know about you but one of my favorite moments and when it happened i turned and drawn and she looked at me and she said my baby because i was getting really sad when it turned out that that piece of paper he's been looking at was his daughter's handprint mm -hmm. that's one of the best moments of the film yeah absolutely yeah like that it was it was extremely sweet the, that whole thing and I, there's a lot of times i found in indian cinema where the, the lead goes to jail especially in older like the it's a it's an easy plot point yeah. to make an insurmountable moment for your hero. Yeah. Put him in jail. Put him in jail. Yeah, it's a very easy I mean, put in jail. That's how I started off Barbarian. Yeah. Peter's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really easy way yeah. to I mean it just happens to be historically accurate as well, mm -hmm. but it, a really great point of conflict and a story that can give you a lot when you're creating something is put your hero in a situation that they themselves are powerless to get out of and you want them to get out of it. And once again, the uh, they, they thought he was the thief. There's something went missing and he was immediately accused because he's a foreigner. Exactly. And he's a thief. He's, he went to... He's well, and even his murder of the guy was was self-defense. It's the guy... The other guy pulled the knife. Yep. And he killed him in self-defense, but it it's really he didn't, didn't matter. Him. He didn't kill him. He didn't, I thought he killed him. No, because he had the line. He said, if oh, I killed right. him, I would have gotten hung. You're right. I would have gotten hung yeah. if I killed him. Yeah, and he only yeah. got eight years um, for, for that. But I also I thought the, um, I don't know what his specific title is, but the lead jailer, whatever, the warden maybe. Yeah. 
I thought he was, was really, kind to him. Yeah, I thought he was really uh, a good actor, and I liked his character as well. Uh, and, and the wife, mom, I, the minute she was on screen was beautiful mm-hmm. and did a very good job. I thought both children. I did too. Uh, uh, Minnie, uh, and then oh, I guess the, the in the beginning, his actual daughter as well. She, we didn't get to see her a lot, but yeah. Minnie is the main. Was it Minnie? Mimi. Mimi um, was the main one we got to see. I thought she did a really good job. She was extremely adorable. Uh, and all those stories, like, about hitting the in-laws or something like that, is that like an old... Yeah, I, I don't did, know what that reference... Did Johnny say anything about that? No, um, I, she didn't. I just they know saying it. they were going to hit their in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing about the in-laws, which you would know, is the fact that for the girl, when they get married, the girl goes and lives with the with the son's family. Yeah. So in the households of India, the daughters are the one who are going to have to go through the big loss. It's it's one of those things. If you watch an Indian wedding, you see we've seen this where the the bride, as they she's bawling, she's yeah. so sad because she's leaving her home. Yeah, yeah. The son doesn't have to leave his home. No. She's coming to his home, and but the whole hitting thing. I I think I don't know. I'm guessing it's just the fact that. Why would you like to be in that place with your in-laws? You'd rather also, be home with your real they family. They were marrying her off at 14 in the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Standard fare. Different times. Different times. Different times. Yeah. <laughs> so Standard fare and different times. So many things in this film that I was like, oh, man, we are and obviously how many years? Almost 80, 80 70, years or something like that. Yeah. Difference between then and now in a different culture. And even that, I actually liked that it looked and felt so much older than 1957. I love nice the fake fact. Beard. Yeah, the fake beard. There are so many flaws that I loved. Yeah. Like the fake beard. It's endearing I, things of old films. Very endearing. The That climactic fight with the stabbing and they, they drop the bottle so the, the the liquid's pouring out which obviously yeah, is blood. conveying the blood pouring out and the hand the guy's hand is purposefully left on the bottle which doesn't look natural yeah or the the choppy edit when he sees mimi run to him on the playground and it flashes back to his little girl running to him whenever he got home the editing on that is so bad mm-hmm. but it's the best they had yeah at the day <laughs> absolutely yeah. and the um fuck i was gonna say something Mm-hmm. Oh no! The uh, there were I don't know why, and I checked at two different places, and it was the exact same. Sometimes stuff wasn't subbed. Oh, did you notice that? I did. You were with most Bengali, of, so probably... most of the time. And Johnny pointed out that they were repeating what they just said, oh, okay. so there was nothing new that you needed to Sometimes hear. Sometimes they it wasn't. There were a pizza. couple of times where, two or three times, where that happened, and and Johnny threw her hand up. Like, what are you doing? Why aren't you translating that? Yeah, it was like a whole like emotional, yeah, thing like a scene that happened, and like for twenty seconds, 20 seconds there were no subs. Yeah, and, and she like, threw her the- hand up and said, "What are they doing?" I stopped at the moment. And I went to a different site that had a, a less quality of uh, the video to see if they had subbed it, and it was the exact same thing. So yeah. I don't. No. Most of the time, it was repetition, and she said they're <clears> just <throat> saying what they just said. That's why you're not seeing the subs. Yeah, but there were a couple of times where she was. Con- and she told me what they said because she speaks yeah. Bengali. Yeah. And uh, it, it, I don't know why it's that way, but yeah, it's oh very, well. very strange. Yeah. Uh, At least there's subs. <clears throat> yeah, and I thought like uh, the the mother and the mm-hmm. father uh, did well in their roles. Uh, I I thought everybody did a, a good job. It was a s- very simple, mm-hmm. but I thought beautiful film. And me too. I th- and you, you, it was easy to root for the the main guy mm-hmm. and and what his why he was sad um, yeah and why he wanted to spend time with this even though even though obviously it's a different time now but you you understood yeah uh, immediately he's like he just misses his daughter exactly he wants to, he just this girl reminds him of his daughter that's it man that's for him it's his like his second daughter as he said and it it could have easily been messed up if the essence of the lead playing the lead doesn't come across as anything other than just platonic sweetness. Yes. If mm-hmm. he in any way gave some kind of cringiness to mm-hmm. it, like, yeah. give you an example. After the roles that he's done, so if you had put a Robin Williams in this role, you completely believe the, the innocence of what he's doing, or a Tom Hanks. If you put Joaquin Phoenix in this role, there's a sense of he would probably get you to he would earn his trust, 
but at first there wouldn't be the immediate sense of trust because Joaquin Phoenix's roles are always he, mm. he always does a lot of edgy different kinds of characters and there's yeah. not this innate sense of trust. He could probably in do him. it though. Oh, he would he would absolutely pull it off, but there wouldn't be the immediate and the continual sense that this character now, just in like his eyes. Joaquin Phoenix. I mean uh, Christopher Walken. That'd just be weird. That would. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I. I, I miss want my, to see your daughter. Hey, uh, I miss my daughter. Can I spend time with your daughter? I, uh, I have a note. <laughs> Dried <laughs> fruit. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. That'd be a little weird. Anyways, uh, I, I thought it was a or Ezra Miller. Oh, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Anyway. Uh, I thought it was a lovely film. Yeah. Uh, I'm very glad we were able to get to a, a Bengali classic. And uh, even though I've, we're going to get to every Sausage at Rye film at some point. Of course. And, uh, I still want to watch all his stuff. I just wanted to get to some stuff that also wasn't him. Because we've probably seen... I mean, Hindi, obviously, was probably maybe the one that we either have the most or second most. But Bengali, we might have the most classics of. Yeah, because Just of because Rye. of how much of Rye's work we've uh, already watched. I would say... the. 90%, 80% of what we've watched in the Bengali industry has yeah. been Rai. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> anyway, so let us know what the next classic, whether it's Sachit Rai or non Sachit Rai, um, films that we should watch and any other Bengali films that we should watch and what you thought about the film down below. <laughs>